it's hey Sophia and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video i'm going to be showing you all how to design a edible garden in minecraft so an edible garden is not only just about the looks of the garden but it's also about the functionality that it has and what i mean by this is that the majority of your stuff in an edible garden should be edible or it should be something that you can use for a different purpose so I have included two different aspects in mind today. Majority of these are Minecraft edible things, but I do also have some in real life edible plants that I have included. So I just want to put a disclaimer here that you should not eat any of the stuff that I am putting in this garden. Don't go around running around in the wild or your backyard picking things and eating them. If you don't know what you are, please leave that only to professionals because if you were to pick the wrong thing and eat it, you could get really, really sick. Let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and built a few different areas that I want to talk about that you can include in an edible garden to make it a little bit more interesting. Now the first area I have built here is a little water feature. Now these actually serve four purposes in edible gardens and they're really really useful and they look really great. The first different purpose that they serve is they actually do look really good. Water features are fantastic in a garden so having them in an edible garden will make your garden look really beautiful. The second purpose is that you can grow kelp in your edible garden. I recommend going two blocks deep so that way you can regenerate the kelp that you have. But kelp is a edible block in Minecraft when you dry it out. So it's really great to try and include that in a water feature. The third reason is sugarcane, which you can see me doing now. Sugarcane, you can not only use for cooking, but it really makes a great privacy screen. So it's really good for doing functional planting with sugarcane. And the fourth reason is that water features in Minecraft you can fish in. So if you want to have a water feature in your garden in Minecraft, you can also fish in it, which also supplies you an endless support of fish to eat. So water features are really great to include in an edible garden, especially in survival if you're wanting to really be strategic about what you're putting in there. Now I'm just adding some little details around the outside to keep it quite simple, just some like puzzle or you can use coarse dirt or sand even. I didn't do stone strategically around the outside, I normally do, but if you want to plant your sugar cane you're going to need grass or some type of block that it can grow into. So you can include stones like I have done there with some cobblestone slabs for some little details, but try and keep it really simple around the outside of your lake or your little pond or stream if you're wanting to make sure you can grow sugar cane. The next thing we're going to do is build a outdoor garden shed. Now this might sound a little bit funny to be putting in a garden because hey Sophia why are you showing us how to grow a shed? Well there is a great reason for that and the reason is that I'm going to be using it as a mushroom growing room. <laughs> now this might sound a little bit odd but obviously in Minecraft if you want to grow mushrooms you need a really really dark space to be doing that. So a really great way to add another detail to your garden but making it functional is building a kind of like a replica garden shed and then just building a few little holes down and putting your mushrooms there. So what I've done is just made a really really simple garden shed. You can see me building it. You just want to go like dig down to however far you want to go. You don't want to go too deep because you want to put a torch here that will allow you to not spawn any monsters. But you just need it deep enough that you can make a little kind of square space down the bottom like this. But I just think this is a really cool way to include mushrooms in your garden without having to put them underneath trees or hiding them in shady spots in your garden. You can simply create a little garden, like a little garden shed and it's multi-purpose. It looks really cool. It looks like you created a little shed in your garden which is quite pretty. Makes it look more like a garden that you're gardening in but there's also a little secret hidden underneath. Now I just made a really simple roof of mine there and then I used some spruce doors for my doors and that's simply because I think they're the most rustic looking doors and I think garden sheds can sometimes be like that. Really old and worn looking. The next thing we're going to do though is start planting some trees. Now you might think this is a little bit odd to be planting trees in a edible garden because hey Sophia, they're trees, I can't eat a tree. Well that is very true, but they serve two purposes here. The first is that a tree is going to look really beautiful and lush and give some height to your garden. The second reason is if you are to choose a oak tree and you cut it down, oak trees can produce apples for you which are edible in Minecraft. 
So I think it's also really good to include a oak tree specifically because if you were to cut them down or have a little oak tree farm in your garden, you can get apples from that which are multi-purpose. Now I am making my oak tree look a little bit more what I suppose I feel is realistic here so I'm just changing the shape to be a little bit more like a little bit bigger. I also added some extra tree trunk bits down the bottom to make it look like a little bit of a bigger tree but you can easily just place the trees as you like and just let them grow naturally. That's completely fine especially if you're wanting your garden to be a little bit easier and functional in survival. But I sped up ahead and planted two more trees just around my garden, one next to the garden shed and one down by the side of my house. And the next areas that we're going to work on are the garden beds. Now I'm going to show you two different garden beds in my design today. The first garden bed which I'm doing the base of it here is a potzel base and this is just because it looks like mulch. In this garden I'm going to be doing the more realistic aspect of edible plants that I mentioned at the beginning of my video. So remember please don't eat any of the plants that I will be putting in here unless if you're a professional and you know what you're doing. The next garden bed that we will be doing though is a Minecraft edible garden bed which I will be putting to the side. Both these garden beds I'm going to just make them look a little bit more decorative by placing some cobblestone staircases just in kind of like random little shapes. You can also just put slabs in there or whole blocks, but I think it just kind of gives it a little rustic-y kind of garden edge. So we're going to put the next one over here, but I will speed up ahead and do that one. Now you just want to leave it grass. I was deciding maybe I'll do puzzle, but then I remembered, no, I need to be hoeing the grass and making an actual a field. So I did that quickly. Now I have placed my water sources you can kind of see under the back there under the fence and I've also hid some of them under these slabs that are around the edge there. Now you kind of want to be strategic in how you do your garden beds and the way that I like to do gardens is that you have your tallest things at the back and you have the shortest things at the front. So at the back I'm strategically placing a bunch of pumpkin seeds and melon seeds so that way you have the big square kind of fruits and stuff like that at the back. And then at the front I'm kind of trailing the beetroot, carrot and potatoes depending on the height of the plant when it's fully grown. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. You kind of want to layer it so just think of when you're building a garden like a triangle. If you look at a triangle from a side or even just a normal triangle you'll notice it will come down on a slope to a point and when I design gardens I like to do the same thing. So I've also got some wheat there as well. Now I think that the carrots look a little bit taller than the beetroots and then I think the beetroots look taller than the potatoes. So what we're going to do is put beetroots behind the potatoes and then bring the potatoes completely to the front. So we will quickly make those grow. Let's just grab these potatoes. There we go. Now we're just going to make all these grow and I will show you what I mean. Grow, there we go. Okay, but if you look from an angle you can see how the wheat's taller than the carrots which are the really dark green leaves. You can see the beetroot's a little bit taller than the potatoes and the potatoes are the shortest. So my my watermelon and pumpkins probably aren't going to grow in this video. Oop, that should not be dying. I have some water there. Let's fix that quickly. But yeah, so you just want to think about how you design a garden in the simplest way in a kind of shape by using a triangle. Triangles come down to a point right in the corner and you kind of want to be doing that with the height of your garden. It's like if you were planting really tall rose bushes and you were planting little daisies, you wouldn't put the rose bushes at the front and then the daisies at the back because you can't see them. So when you design a garden, you want to make sure you're putting your tallest plants at the back and the shortest ones at the front. But that is how you want to do a edible kind of garden design in Minecraft and I think it's quite pretty especially because the beetroots and the carrots will add a lot of colour to your garden. Beetroots are quite, quite like vibrant in the purples that they bring to the gardens in Minecraft. And then carrots have a really really vibrant green like plant kind of leafy material on top of them so I think they're both really great for gardening in Minecraft and they can actually make really pretty gardens. But like I mentioned, our next garden we're going to focus on is the edible garden in Minecraft that is a in real life aspect. So the first two things I am going to be adding is grass and ferns and this is just kind of like I'm replicating rosemary or herbs like that. 
I'm then using a bunch of different flowers because flowers are actually, a lot of them are edible in real life. Daffodils, people use to make teas out of. Daisies, you can also use the petals to decorate. The alliums, the purple flowers, are actually part of the onion and garlic family in real life. So a lot of alliums are actually edible as well. Same with Azua Blast, you can also use their flowers, petals in real life to decorate. So I would kind of stick to these kind of plants. And then for taller ones, I would probably do the peonies. Oh, no, not peonies. I would do roses. Peonies, I've heard, don't taste very good. But roses, because you can decorate cakes of roses or things like that. And also sunflowers, because in real life, you do have sunflower seeds, which are edible too. But again, please don't eat any of these in real life, unless if you are a professional and you know what you're doing. It can be really dangerous if you were to pick the wrong plant because you thought it was the right one. So please, again, only professionals don't go eating these. But just like the first garden, you want to design them exactly how you would design, like, like I said, like a triangle. So you can see at the back here, I'm placing some of the taller plants and then at the front, I have the shortest ones. So again, you can see that triangle shape. I also put some tall ferns in there just to kind of replicate like other tall herbs or things like that that you might see in real life. Maybe it could be like a tomato bush that hasn't fully grown its tomatoes yet. And I just wanted to add some greenery in there too because there are a lot of green edible plants or even like curry tree leaves or things like that in real life. So if you want to have like a purely survival based Minecraft garden, I would be just sticking to the crop one that I did. But if you want to make it a little bit more of a real life aspect, I think the flower one is a really great way to bring a different design to an edible garden in Minecraft. Next up though, we're doing our last kind of feature for our garden, which is a little flower bed. Now I'm putting this along the side of my screened off area here. Now to the area to the left there, all I did was a screen little privacy garden. It just has two little dark oak benches and that is it. And I made a little flower, like a little, like a little bird bath just by using a cauldron and some water in it too. So that's just a little privacy area. You can do anything like that that you want as well. You can make it completely covered or make it pretty and make another little herb garden behind there. I just thought it might be cool to add a little privacy area to make it a little bit private and another interesting feature in our edible garden. But all I'm doing to make this raised kind of garden bed is I've just got some dirt blocks in the center there and then I've put some of these spruce trapdoors around because I think spruce trapdoors make a really fantastic garden trimming. They're really rustic and I think they're just perfect for an edible garden design. The next thing you want to do is just put water in it like I did and then you just want to grow your crops like this. Maybe we'll put another plant there. And then you can put two fence posts high to make a little stake looking thing to kind of look like a trellis that you grow tomatoes up. You could then put other little plants in here. I, I like to make my garden beds quite interesting by adding different aspects to make them look really lush. If you look at a lot of garden beds in real life, you'll notice they'll have like lettuces and tomatoes and herbs and all different things mixed in there. Even flowers like marigolds because they are natural pest repellent. I'm going to quickly grow these to make them quite lush. There we go. And I think the last kind of thing I'm going to be doing for my edible garden is just probably some grass around on the lawn to make it a little bit more interesting. There we go. Let's grab this one here. Just like this, just to make it look a little bit more lush and like we have nice grass growing around our garden too. But there you go, you guys. There is how to build a edible garden in Minecraft. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I haven't done a garden video for a while, but I really love to garden in Minecraft. So I think this was quite fun to do. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Do you think you'll be including a edible garden in your next build in Minecraft? And also don't forget to hit that notification bell for notifications every time I do post a video. But like always guys, thank you so so much for watching. Thank you!